Not far from the boat dock of Clear Lake is the site for fine dining, a non-exclusive dinner club that meets each month over the summer for a unique potluck in Olven City Park. Normally it's about eight to 10, and we've been as high as 30. The Holtz and us are regulars. Gathered are folks who not only enjoy food, but a particular mode of preparation. This is the Dutch oven gathering. Heated by fire, coal, or wood embers, Dutch ovens are heavy cast iron kettles with a close fitting lid. Carrie Krieger says everyone is interested in the resulting meal. I like the process of cooking outside over a fire. I'm self-taught. I just learned it myself. This is how we eat at my house most of the summer. It's just sitting around with friends and family. Carrie Krieger and her friend Carrie Holt were both scout leaders with a shared interest in cooking with Dutch ovens. He enjoys the simplicity of the method. With simple ingredients, a diverse range of recipes can be prepared. It's, a, it's an outdoor cooking. You can use wood for, for heat, you can use charcoal for heat, you know. And, and, the, and the ingredients generally are very easy to, to pack in and pack out because they're non-perishable stuff generally is what you use for the cooking. We've yet to find a, a recipe we, we don't like and we've yet to be burned, we, if you understand what I'm saying. Everything has always been good. Getting burned might be the thing that discourages people from trying to cook with the Dutch oven. There are no modern gauges or dials to adjust heat. Cooks have to increase the temperature manually. There is definitely a learning curve, but this group is willing to share pointers and help each other along. We've told people, come watch us cook. We, you may not get a tutorial with us standing behind a table, but you can definitely watch what we're doing, and I don't have any secrets. 